Okay, so here's a story that I wanted to tell you yesterday, but ran out of time. And it's a pretty recent story, actually, but I feel like it really helps uh, identify the power of creative community. And that was, I was recently at an artist residency at Penland, which is a school of craft down in Western North Carolina. Beautiful place if you've never been. And as someone who had never been to art school, right, I went to school for public education, not art, I didn't know what it was like not to make art with other people, right? Or not to make art by myself. How do you make it in a creative context? What does that look like? How is it different than making art by yourself? And what I found at that residency, because there was like 10 of us in the textile studio, just working away 12 hour days sometimes, but having those chances for one-on-one -on -one conversations or small group conversations to get feedback at a moment's notice, like in the moment when you need feedback, changed the course of the entire body of work that I was working on while I was at Penland. And it makes me think, I left that residency wondering, how can I bring that kind of, how can I bring the vitality of that experience of working in a studio with other artists to the nook so that other artists out there who can't take time off from their days to go do things like residencies, so that they can have that kind of support system and also a chance to get constructive criticism and feedback on their work. How can they be pushed by one another, creatively speaking? So that's what I left fired up about, fired up about from Penland. And that's what we see happening more and more in the nook. So tomorrow when you join me, I want to tell you about someone who had a real creative breakthrough based on the unblocks that we do every month. So stay tuned for that one.